Man. Did that work? What's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Web Around. Around. The Web Around portable green screen. Like the name suggests, it is a portable green screen that wraps around your chair. And uh, I've been thinking about getting a green screen even before this whole YouTube situation that I'm um, actually engaging in with right now. I've definitely seen streamers use it and I've always wondered how do they get that little silhouette transparent situation going on when they're streaming their games. Interest got further peaked when I noticed that at the bottom of that Zoom virtual background, I've been using a lot of Zoom, lots of virtual backgrounds, there's an option that says use green screen. And the idea there is meant to make that fuzziness that happens when you're doing the whole green screen situation. So in this video, I'm gonna be, first of all, like the unboxing, how to set it up, um, how to use it on Zoom, and then um, a little bit of the tweaking that I've learned that comes part of it. So let's talk about specs. The green screen comes in at around one and a half pounds and has a circumference of 52 inches. Um, I found that you know fairly sufficient for my needs. However, um, you know as we'll talk about later in the video, 52 inches might not be quite enough if you have a high def or widescreen lens webcam. As you can see here, you know some of the the corners are still visible, and we'll talk about how to fix that. But like I said earlier. Um, that will require some additional software tweaks outside of Zoom and outside of your standard web conference applications. The way I've solved for it is using OBS and um, some additional tools. So we'll go into that in a minute. Installing the, the green screen is fairly simple. Once you've got it out of the box, what you do is simply just um, kind of undo the Velcro straps and just place it over the... Um, back of your chair like so uh, there is a stabilizer on some models i think i think just they have them on all of them now i, I don't i don't really know but uh, essentially what that does is it ensures that the green screen stands up and remains proper properly stood up um so yeah fairly easy fairly quick and that's how you use it putting it away is basically the reverse process and thankfully uh webaround has provided a online video that shows exactly how to do it because i struggled multiple times i had to watch it probably like six times and put it in slow mode just to figure it out but once you've got it nailed down it's it's really easy to fold it as far as build quality it's made of neoprene and nylon with high quality spring steel capable of decades of use according to the website so why would you get one of these obviously if you don't have it's portable you can pack it up kind of fold it in into the bag it really reminds me of one of those portable foldable uh, blah, 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 uh, laundry hamper things it's kind of made of the same synthetic silky material um so it's pretty good it doesn't really interrupt this the the feeling of the chair i'm using this on an ermin miller aaron 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 chair and got some flexibility momentum it is kind of wide and that's the whole point. You would want to mask the background of whatever it is that you have. So if you have a cluttered office or a cluttered home space like I do, um, you can easily mask that with this. So, so let's look at the specifications. The instructions say, huh, interesting. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What did I learn? Well, okay, so let's, Step one, open the web around. Step two, heat iron to medium heat or nylon settings. Step three, on a flat surface, iron the web around avoiding. Okay, cool. So anyway, let's figure out, test out how this actually works on Zoom. We're gonna test this out in three, two, one. Our left hand, I know, bam, bam. I don't know which finger I used to snap on the other cut. All right, so we're back and now I'm using the Logitech C920 uh, on my computer, no longer the uh, Sony cam to my side. Say hi, hello, Sony cam. Um, we are going to be going over, ex we are gonna go now into what it looks like to set up Zoom using the green screen. Um, and it's a pretty simple process, but I'm also gonna look show you uh, what it looks like to augment that uh, using OBS, which I'm using to record this right now. So let's jump straight into uh, Zoom. All right, so for this portion of the video, I'm gonna do a quick voiceover since I botched the audio on the original clip. But what we are doing is we're gonna be launching Zoom and once we're there, we're gonna hit start video. That'll kick off our webcam and then we'll just click on that 
uh, additional arrow button then button there which will bring us to the video settings if you can click on that you want to make sure that enable HD is selected and you'll notice that when I do so that the resolution kicks kicks up but then you get to see these the corners and the edges of the web around green screen um, so what you get with the additional HD is that additional screen real estate but the problem is if you disable it uh, the qu quality of the webcam just drastically um, lessens um, and then here I am just playing around with that touch up my appearance which is real weird so let's I think that's a new thing uh, blah, 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 blah. okay so now we're in the background and, and filter section and what we're gonna what I'm doing is just toggling between the various backgrounds and as you can see that even if you do not just just by default that there's that weird effect happening and kind of a, a, a glow that's coming off. So if you click on I have green screen there at the bottom, hit that little checkbox. You'll see that the chroma key uh, aspect of zoom is now applying. It's taking all the green elements, but as you can see, it didn't work 100%. So we have to pick a color that we want zoom to remove to let the virtual background through. I'm a little, I'm struggling since what's important is that you have to have a consistent color that's all throughout. And with the natural light that's coming through the window and the light that is coming through the rest of the room, it's not very consistent. Um, and you can see that the zoom virtual background thing is, is, is slightly confused. It's not great and ideally you know, if you don't have consistent lighting, you're probably not going to be in a good situation there. All right. So this next part of the video is going to be a little bit weird because I'm effectively speeding up through what would be me trying to figure out exactly how to crop out the corners of the green screen clip and also just make it all work. I'm doing this all through OBS and um, here you go. So there you have it. Voila. Was it worth the effort? I would say a huge resounding no. It was a lot of work to get that through and I'm sure it works well for content creators and streamers and things of that nature, but setting it up just for Zoom and you're probably going to have different lighting situations through and through out the course of the day. I just wouldn't recommend doing that to anyone. <laughs> so there you go. So the final question is, do you invest into a portable web around green screen? And I think the answer is, as always, it depends. But if you're getting it solely for Zoom meetings, I highly suggest that you instead invest your money into a really good webcam coupled with a really good lighting situation. So get yourself a ring fill, a ring light. Um, you could even use um, uh, lamps just improve your lighting situation reposition your computer wherever your desktop is get some natural light to get a really good uh, crisp image of yourself so that contrasts against the virtual background that you will eventually apply just makes it so much better so that's it thanks for watching i appreciate you all so if you like the video please like if you love it please sub and if you want to add a comment to say mean things or great things you know where to go catch you later peace